Black Cat Girl are often paid to guide you through the story, which means I've been paid about six quid for the work I'm doing here tonight. Pay is pants here at Sainsbury's. So, does anyone know what the panda mine's called?
got to get out and see the lowly peasants occasionally. As I said, I am Lord Sainsbury's, yes, Lord Sainsbury's supreme ruler of the supermarket world. I feel a bit bad for calling you all losers and peasants. Um, would anyone like any money? Yeah. Anyone? Yeah. I've got lots to share. Yeah. Where should I? Yeah. Yeah. Here you are, Flex. Yeah. You idiots. That's monopoly money. You can't buy anything. Yeah. bought a monopoly board, which no one is stupid enough to have done. Lord Sainsbury's, I brought my monopoly board, can we play please? <laughs> oh, go away, Aldi, you naughty! You are not good enough to play Monopoly against me. Come back when you have 1,000 superstars nationwide, not a measly 27. Get lost, Aldi! Someday I have thousands of stars, just you wait and see Sainsbury's! <laughs> guest I'm not very nice. And why should I be? I am a king of the supermarket world. Uh, oh, shut up. But there is just too much competition out there today. I've already taken down Asda. That was easy. But I want more. That is why I've made a plan. By the end of this stupid little pantomime, there'll be no more Waitrose, no more Morrison's Tesco Corp Little, and especially no Aldi. <laughs> the competition will be buried, and it will remain buried. All that will be left is Sainsbury's, Sainsbury's, Sainsbury's! I will be the undisputed king of the supermarket world. How? want to know how I'll make all the other supermarkets crumble? No! Do you? No! I'll tell you anything. <laughs> to do this, I must first find a magic lamp, which I hear is hidden somewhere around here. When I get this lamp, I must make a wish from a genie who can give me three wishes. But I can't go and look for the lamp. <laughs> Yeah, 
she's made beans on toast. No, she made toast on beans, was she? I like beans. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, Aladdin, you show them. I hope I don't get in trouble for that, though. 
What's the director going to do now? Take your part away from you. You're already on stage in front of these guys and there's no understudy. Good point, Washi. Right, let's do this workshop. It's real simple and easy to follow. Rishi, Washi, you guys repeat after me at first and then you guys, the audience, can follow and repeat the actions. Okay, Russell, give us a beat. But to say thank you for saving my life, 
I would really like to take you out sometime. Perhaps for something to eat. Is this a joke? You're lying, it's not a joke. Although you're not my usual type, I feel a real connection with you. Really? Maybe you can help me with mine. I'm trying to get signals all day. <laughs> Aladdin, don't joke. I'm being serious. No, seriously, Jasmine. It's a Wi-Fi black hole in this place. Hello, only of you techies. Like, I can't get on Instagram. Seriously. Aladdin, if you're going to joke, I'll just go. You put yourself out there. Ugh. Look, Dan, I mean, <coughs> I'd love to go on a thing. I feel a real connection to you too. I know this little cafe, which is great. It's a date, Aladdin. Aladdin, what are you still doing here?
I don't leave the house now. I don't eat, I don't sleep, I just fold laundry all day. I still want my John Co-op back. He is the love of my life. My first, my last, my everything. <laughs>
a magic lamp, which has a genie in it who will grant three wishes. And Aladdin's been totally rejected by Princess Jasmine because he worked for Sing Breeze. Emperor Waitrose is opening a new super Waitrose. And Widow Twanky seems to be happy again now that Wishy and Washy have cheered him. Her? I mean, her. Up. <laughs> That's good. So what happens next? Well, Bren, it looks like change is afoot. Ooh! I like to change. Lord Sainsbury's wasn't going to stop until the whole supermarket world was his. Ooh! And at the same time, Bruno Tw And at the same time, Princess Jasmine couldn't stop thinking about her who wrote Aladdin and how he'd saved her life, only to reject him. She needed some expertise advice, so she confided in the only person that she could. Her wise but wacky Grandma Pell. Oh, I've met her before. She's almost as wise as me. <laughs> friend, of course she is. <laughs> oh, Grandma Petal, I don't know what to do. What's the matter, darling? <laughs>
meeting about the new store ten minutes ago. Why are you not ready yet? Daddy, there's something I've got to do first. No, Jasmine, you must go to this meeting first. This store is make or break for us. Sainsbury's is on our backs. He's breathing down our necks. Do you not get that? Daddy, there's something I've got to do first. Money isn't everything. I must go. Jasmine, don't you walk out of that door or I promise you that you will regret it. Daddy, I need to find the boy who saved me on the day of session. He stopped me from being crushed. He saved my life. I... I love him, Dad. <laughs> love? Love? You don't know what love is. Jasmine, I forbid you to love anyone who works for Sainsbury's. I mean, they even give out discounts for goodness sake. <laughs> I shall disown you. I will take the new store away from you and you can live away from here. Anyone who associates with a Sainsbury's ruffian is no good in my book. Forget about love. There's no such thing. I think your choice has been made, Jasmine. It certainly seems that way. Bye, Grandma Little. I love you dearly. Bye, Father. I shall think of you both fondly. You can keep my things. I don't need them anymore. Goodbye. Jasmine. I'll leave a petal, she'll be back. You lonely fool, why is it always about money with you? What did you say to me? You push away anyone who goes against your rule. Why can't you make a change? You lonely greedy wretch. Now you've lost Jasmine too. That's Supermarkets are here for your meeting. Sir? <coughs> Sir! Yes, Jenkins, yes, I heard you the first time. Send them in, send them in. wanted to sell groceries and before he knew it he was emperor and grand supreme ruler of the supermarket world did he ask to be no did he want to be maybe maybe once in a world far 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 away from reading but now life just seems like a pot noodle to me 
foul smelling and cheap. I mean, come on, hasn't there been enough bloodshed, Sainsbury's? Haven't there been enough apples picked, tomatoes, broken cows, milked? I mean, come on, I want an easy life, I want an easier life, a better life for us all. A life where foe doesn't constantly fight against foe. A life where I can actually look at myself in the mirror every morning. Don't you want that, Baron Von Lidl? Yes! Don't you want that, Miss Aldi? Yes! Don't you want that, Johnny Toa? Yes! And don't you want that, Baroness Tesco? Yes! I know you do. You all do, don't you? Yes! Supermarket Coalition is the way! I just want peace. I don't want to be emperor anymore. But I do want a supermarket world where we can live and work together. Don't you all? We'll give you our decision shortly. Thank you. Waitress! You're not pulling the wall over my eyes. This is a ploy! A scam! to run a farce! I wish it were, Lord Sainsbury's. I wish it were. The truth is, it's time for a new era. It's time for an era of peace. Sir, I can help. Oh, fuck off! You are about as much use to me as a chocolate teapot! Why do you always push me away when all I give you is love? Oh, shut up!
anywhere, and I can't find it anywhere. I checked in the sea floor, I checked in the canteen, I went in Miss Rainwright's office. Oh, but don't tell anyone, I went into Mr. Casey's office and stole some of the food that was meant for the teachers. <laughs> hey, don't judge me, I got hungry. And to be honest, I'm a bit full from all these Pringles. So where does this map say to look for next? It says the lamp is at a stage. Or does it say cave? Stage or cave? Stage or cave? Aha, there you are, lad. We've been looking all over for you. Oh, no, not you two again. We told you we'd be back. Great, you add so much to this performance. Thank you, lad. <laughs> that was sarcastic. And what are you going to do this time? Ban me from speaking to the audience? <coughs> no, Aladdin, don't be foolish. We're nice lawyers. Lawyers for good. Lawyers for justice. This is why we're back. Your director was annoyed you did that silly work song. The consequences are going to get to the director, you know. Like what? Is he going to give me a detention? No, Aladdin, much worse. You are excluded. <laughs> I can't. I. 
guys. And hey, what do you know? Maybe Jasmine's changed her mind about me. Bye, guys! Bye -bye. Unless we have a supermarket battle and Jasmine's disappeared, where's she gone? I need to know. I need to know. This is so much better than Coronation Street. <sighs> <laughs> What's Alan going to do his last wish, Sandra? Well, that would be telling Bren. I bet he's going to wish to go to Mallorca. I love Mallorca. <laughs> all right, all right. Enough speculating, Brent. See you soon, people. Bye! Bye.